Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to reset PowerShell and Command Prompt. There's three different ways we can do it. One of them is going to work. So let's do this. I'm going to show you something real quick, and it's going to make sense later. So just bear with me. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. I'm going to open RegEdit really quickly. You don't have to do anything right now. I just want to show you that the default key that we'll be playing with, when you get to it, might have a couple of subfolders. And I'll circle back to this in just a minute. The reason for that is it's actually easy to do, so go ahead and open your command prompt or PowerShell. And I do that with a Windows key plus X and open PowerShell. Now something I didn't know for many years, I've known it for a while now, but I didn't, and that's okay. If you right click, you have defaults and you have properties. So if I change my font to medium, ah, you're going to mess with me on that of all things large yeah large there we go now I know that if I right click on command prompt or PowerShell anywhere along here not only can I customize it in properties but if I click defaults you see it brought it back to small there you have it not too tough now I was going to mention to you about the reg edit so I'll show you what we're talking about here we have two other ways one's a registry file and the other one we're going to go in and delete that registry key that I showed you earlier Right here is download, so click that. That comes with the registry file, command prompt default, that's what you want, the link to our tutorial, and four shortcuts if they disappear. More than likely, all you need is that. So just double click command prompt default, click yes, click yes, click OK. I'm going to minimize that out of the way right now. You've now reset PowerShell or the command prompt to defaults. If one of these didn't work, we're going to go into the registry. We're going to take that key out of there. We're just going to delete it. And I want you to see when R, so type R-E-G-E-D-I-T, press OK. And as you can see, it's not here. But when I run PowerShell, I usually go for admin. It's actually going to put that back now. Let me come back to the registry and press F5 to refresh. And there's your console. So there's why I showed it to you earlier. You notice the two subfolders are missing. That was all your customization. So when you change stuff, those folders will also be recreated just like console. So that should take a little worry off of your mind about deleting it because now we know right click on console and delete is the third possible way to reset it. And once again, once I do PowerShell as admin again, it's back so all three steps are actually doing the exact same thing in a different way but if you have a problem we prefer one way or the other hey cool I will provide a link here somewhere closer to the end of the video to jump to the download location but before we do that if you're missing your shortcuts somewhere they're actually saved in this folder right here so let me show you real quick because you may need it or actually I'll try and put the link in right about here Somebody remind me. There's nobody here. All right. So we want to go to this PC. And let me look up here. There we go. So we'll go to C. Users. Your username. App data, which is a hidden folder. Roaming. Microsoft. <sighs> Exhausting. Windows. Start menu. Programs, Windows PowerShell. You see, I have two shortcuts here, so maybe I'm missing them somewhere. So what I actually could do now is go back to that folder where it was in the desktop, and I can highlight these. One, two, three, four. Copy. Click on back. And it's going to overwrite these, but they're the same thing. Right-click and hit paste. So yeah, replace everything, baby. And then you'll have your shortcuts back. So there you have it. So should get the job done for you one way or the other and fix any problems you got. Now, if you didn't know about customizing or some more details about customizing fonts, colors, blah, blah, blah at the bottom. Anyway, hey, bottom right corner right about here, you can see the little logo pop up. Little tiny, tiny little logo. And you click on that, subscribe word will pop up, and you subscribe to Major Geeks. Woo. All right. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.